Hi, I'm John Newton, aka Snap on John 100, and you are watching Wilderness Self Reliance. So I thought I'd come out and spend the day and just uh, shoot a bunch of video. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to make a fire with uh, a bow and drill. The new bearing blocks, deluxe bearing blocks, um, are in. I just picked them up this morning. So I'm going to make a bow drill fire. I'm also going to bring out my hammock, set that up, uh, show you how I hook my hammock up and the modification I made to it. And um, just in general, enjoy this beautiful day. Old thistle tops. Good source of tender. Milkweed is another good source of tender, so I'll collect some of that. Alright, I'm in a uh, forest where the trees predominantly close to me are basswood. And so I'm looking for a dead piece of basswood to make a heartboard and spindle. And as you can see, right here is one laying down. And you can see it is basswood, I'll show you here. by this fibrous um, underbark and it's extremely white and it's light okay so this piece right here is going to be the one I'm going to utilize so I'm just going to saw off a piece of it and then bring it along okay I've got um, some different pieces of basswood that I'm going to use to try to make a bow drill set. And I've got, these are several options for spindles. I'm going to make the hard board out of this. So first I have to split it down. I just don't want to split very handily. Let's see. Alright, this will work okay. I got a basically a flat bottom and I can use this section right here. Okay, that'll work on my hard board. I'm just gonna try this one for a spindle, so I'm because I'm in a hurry. This one's a little on the thin side, but I can use it. The knife I'm using is uh, this is a blind horse knives. Bushcrafter. Uh, it's still around, but now it's made by Battle Horse Knives. Dan Coppins, part of the partnership. Uh, great knife. It's um, 01 tool steel, 
This blade thickness is 5 30 seconds of an inch. So it's just a little bit bigger than 1 8. See if we can make this work. We love spear point blades because of how great they are for drilling. I like the looks of them also. Now everything is still wet, so I'm gonna try to make the coal on this piece of foam. First what I have to do is burn in the spot. I'm going to be using one of the new bearing blocks that I just picked up this morning. They're in stock now. You can order them at www.wildernessselfreliance.com. because the spindle is very thin. I don't really like using a thin spindle like this. Start out slow because this is not straight, so it's going to kind of jump around. Cut the notch. I use a saw for this. That way I can get I can really get right in this line it up so I'm right in the center. And it's faster. For me anyway. I'm 
going to chamfer the front, allow more oxygen to get in. Try to make the sides as smooth as possible so that the dust just falls right straight down. made a U-shaped notch. Just like that. It's about a quarter of an inch wide. If it gets a lot of smoke and doesn't uh, form a coal, I'm going to widen it. Now the next step is to prepare my bird's nest. This is some um, inner bark from tulip poplar. It's a little on the damp side. So my bird's nest is made out of the uh, fluffy stuff that I got mixed with um, pine needles from a white pi uh, white pine and. Um, Oh, and some um, cedar bark that I collected. I didn't show uh, the cedar bark you've seen me collect. I just scraped it from the from a dead tree. I guess I'm going to try this right here. I'm taking some shortcuts, so hopefully it won't bite me in the rear end. But I'm trying to do too many things in one day. Like Try a different spindle. I'm going to use a spindle with me. Brought an extra spindle with me. It's bigger diameter, so. Hopefully it'll work better. It's um, also straighter and smoother.
that's the one problem I thought that that might have is uh, it's not it's not straight or smooth so it's vibrating to beat the band all right Let's see how this one does We got a coal with the bearing block. Now, hopefully, I can um, get that bird's nest to work. I'm going to put some of my smalls underneath my bird's nest so I can flip it over and
Well, as you can see, my short cuts almost cost me that fire. Um, my bird's nest was way too dense. The you can you have to be careful um, with things like uh, milkweed pods or any of that kind of stuff because if you if everything's too dense, it starts up, but then it can't get enough air, so it just sort of flashes a little bit, and then it kind of wants to go out. Well, I'm going to let this cook down to a bed of coals and then I'm going to cook some sausages. Um, I thought I would try that. Uh, I know um, north of 50 now really enjoys his sausage so I thought I'd give that a try. I'm also going to have some coffee, but I want to let everything let this burn down some. I'm going to have to get that out of there. It's a little too hot. Nice hot sausage. And a coffee. Meal fit for a king. Thank you north of 40 now my battery's dying so I'm going to sign off <clears throat> until we meet again God bless